With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that find the area of the minor segment of a circle of radius 14 cm when the angle of the corresponding sector is 60 degree. So there is a sector of uh, with the angle 60 degree and the by, uh, the minor segment will be this one. We are supposed to find out the area of this minor segment. So this will be equal to area of minor segment will be equal to area of sector OAB area of sector OAB minus area of this triangle OAB area of triangle OAB now first of all let us find out the area of sector OAB so area of sector OAB will be equal to area sector OAB will be equal to because it is a sector so the formula will be pi r square theta divided by 360 degree here in sector OAB radius r is equal to 14 centimeters so let's put in the values pi is equal to 22 divided by 7 multiplied by radius is 14 so 14 raised to the power 2 multiplied by theta is 60 degree divided by 360 degree so on solving it we will get 60 divided by 360 will give us 1 divided by 6 so on solving it we will get 22 divided by 7 multiplied by 14 multiplied by 14 multiplied by 1 divided by 6 this 14 will get divided by 7 and we will have 2 this will get divided by 2 and we will have 7 and 3 so on solving it we will get 308 divided by 3 centimeter square this is the area of sector OAB now let's, now let's consider triangle OAB so triangle OAB now if we observe triangle OAB then OA is equals to OB OA is equals to OB that means because OA is equals to OB therefore triangle OAB is an isosceles triangle now as triangle OAB is an isosceles triangle this means that angle supposed to equal sides are also equal that means if OA is equals to OB then that means angle B is equals to angle A this angle is equals to this angle now this is 60 degree so in triangle OAB if I apply angle sum property I will have angle O plus angle B plus angle A is equals to 180 degree now angle O is given as 60 degree plus angle B plus angle A because both are equal so we can write them as twice of angle A is equals to 180 degree so this will give us 120 degree is equals to twice of angle A because this plus 60 will go to the other side and will get subtracted from 180 we will have 120 degree so angle A is equals to 120 divided by 2 that is 60 degree now we have angle A is equals to 60 degree angle B is equals to 60 degree because angle B is equals to angle A and angle O is equals to 60 degree is given so now we have all the three angles of the triangle OAB as 60 degree as all the angles are 60 degree we can say that triangle OAB is an isosceles triangle here we have used angle sum property So now we know that area of equilateral triangle is so area of equilateral triangle OAB will be equal to root 3 divided by 4 multiplied by because all the sides of equilateral triangles are same so side square so we will get root 3 divided by 4 multiplied by side side length of the side is 14 so 14 raised to the power 2 and this will give us 49 under root 3 centimeter square now let's put in the value of area of triangle OAB and area of sector OAB 
in this expression to find out the area of segment. So area of segment will be equal to area of segment is equals to area of sector OAB that is 308 divided by 3 centimeter square minus area of triangle OAB that is 49 under root 3 centimeter square. So this is the area of segment. This we have put in the values from let's name this as using 3 let's name this as equation 2 and this as equation 1 the first equation. So here we have reached using 1 2 and 3. So our answer is 308 divided by 3 minus 49 under root 3 centimeter square. That's all. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.